Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Adol. Today we're going to connect to SendGrid. SendGrid, for those of you who don't know, it's a really cool tool for sending emails without having a mailer in your own server. It's pretty fast, it's pretty cheap. You can go see the pricing. One of those who you can get the free uh, tier plans. And yeah, and basically we're going to use that. Okay. So let's get started. So first we're going to go and create our package. So npm init y. Perfect. Uh, we're going to install um, send grid email. And we're going to install um, dot env because we need the keys, the, the key from SendGrid. This is going to be pretty, pretty simple. We create the dot env file where we're going to say a SendGrid key. We're going to create our index.js file. Let me disable copilot here. Give me a second. Save completions. Okay, cool. And let's do the following. So let's do const send grid equals to require send grid mail. Require dot n dot config. Okay. Now we're gonna do a function asynchronous. Yes, synchronous. Async function send mail we're gonna send the to from a subject um, body of the email okay and we're gonna create our asynchronous anonymous function which is gonna call to send mail with all this information. Let's say for example two, let's put my personal email here from, let's do um, hello at youtube.com. This subject will be you are awesome. And the body, let's say, your channel is great. Okay. Uh, so yeah, in here it's pretty simple. We just initialize SendGrid. So SendGrid dot set API key is gonna be the process dot then dot SendGrid API SM key creo que es. I think it is. Uh, send with key. Yeah. Let's do um, send grid send grid dot send, and we're gonna send here to from subject and text, which text is gonna be the body. Is the only one that is different from name and key and yeah basically cost email equals to an await of that return the email let's not forget to do the try catch so we know what's going on in the middle here there And let's uh, see what the response from SendGrid is. So let's do const email response equals to send mail. Console log email response. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's get our key. Um, let's get our keys. 
So in order to get our keys, we have to sign in or sign up. I already have a, an account, so let me sign in. Once you enter your account, you can go to the settings API keys. Just you can create a new API key. You can give it an API key name, for example, coding with auto full access request special good access or getting access. Let's give it a full access. It will it will be the one that will be sending the emails. You have here the key. And now you have to go to your code and put the key there. Okay. So once we do that, let's run the project. Oh, we I forgot to do one thing here. So this is an await. Let's try it one more time. Okay, response forbidden. Let's see what's going on. We wanna see the body. So let's do the response dot body. Let's see if there's something on the keys or something. And in the console error. Okay, let's do consular dot response. Perfect. Let's do consular response dot body. So we actually send on the error the actual error that we want to send. Okay, let's start with that. The from address doesn't match a verified service tender and in an entity. Ah, okay, yeah, makes sense. So yeah, this sender, hello.youtube, we cannot send it from this person because it's not verified and it's not my account. So I'm gonna change this to my account. So for that, for privacy purposes, let me move it to uh, dot n. Okay, so I moved it to a dot 10 now. Let me close that out. Let me remove this thing. Let's remove this as well. And let's do it again. Awesome. 202, nobody. So it was sent. So let's check the email. And yep. Yeah. Here is the email. Okay. Uh, Craig, you're awesome. Your channel is great. Awesome. Perfect. So, yeah, that's how you send emails using SendGrid. Thank you.